All right, I wanted to give a little update on my home theater. Uh, actually got a lot of work done. Uh, still cleaning up, but uh, I'll show you what I got. I said I wasn't going to do everything at once, but uh kind of did a lot of things at once. <laughs> uh, I ended up buying a LS12000 uh, projector from Epson. This thing is awesome. Um, went through Dream Media. They were great. Um, got a screen through Silver Ticket. I couldn't be happier with this screen. The screen is awesome. The frame on it is solid. I couldn't believe that it was only 300 bucks. And look at how bright this projector is. We got the lights on full blast and we're good here. So I've been blacking out the room. You know, I see the focals are Love these speakers. Been going around. Got some more work to do. Got to order some more of these these tiles. But yeah, I've been, been going around the room, blacking everything out, and I moved all of my gear into here. I'll show you. Putting the dust in here. A lot of boxes, big garbage days this week, so a lot of this stuff is going to be out of here. So moved everything in here. Got this little uh, storage rack. It works perfect. It was 60 bucks. Got my Xbox. My uh, Blu-ray player is a uh, Panasonic. I love that thing. Apple 4K. Been gaming... Uh, on my projector, it is amazing for gaming. Well, I've been playing Starfield, looks incredible. So that's uh, that's my equipment room. I had to rewire everything. Maybe I'll post some pictures, but uh, this was a lot of work. That took the longest. I had to run new uh, cable. I got heavier gauge, I figured it's better. It's all uh, 12 gauge, I labeled everything so I know what goes where. For now, uh, it's pretty much done, and uh, I ran a uh, IR signal uh, cable to the front of the room, so that's how uh, all this uh, stuff can work. Um, but for the most part, the Apple TV remote is uh, remote uh, with uh, wireless, and the same thing with the Xbox controller. So, but the Blu-ray player is IR, and same thing with the AVR. So. Um, let me show you what this screen looks like. The lights out. Turn off the lights. This thing is so bright. Let me get to a just a gorgeous image. And if you're held up on uh on the uh LS12000 cuz um it's a 1080 it's technically a 1080p panel but it uses this fancy E shift it moves uh, in four directions. I am telling you, don't let that hold you up. There's benefits to having the smaller panel. This could be, it's brighter. Um, you'd have to spend a lot of money to get a br brighter projector than this. And this, this image is just insane. It's so clear. You would never know that it, that technically isn't a true full 4k panel but you are seeing a full 4k i'm still working on uh you know i gotta black out this window more I even have some light coming in over here so i'm gonna black out the ceiling that's my next project i'll probably start that this week too but uh yeah um let me know if you got any questions uh be happy to respond this is couldn't be happier though with this projector and actually their customer service from epson is amazing i have a little issue little issue over here i don't know if it's going to show up very well but uh i have a stuck pixel somewhere over here let me get a different scene maybe um yeah, right there. There it is. Now, I called Epson. 
they said no problem. They're overnighting me a new unit. And I just have to drop this one in the box. I could just hot swap it. Don't have to wait to get a new one. And they said they're sorry. I'm like, no problem. They only had me put a hold on my card. Just make sure I return it. But that was no problem for me. Um, but excellent customer service. I hate to be picky, but it was a lot of money. And uh, yeah, this, this screen though is 110 inch. Turn on the movie theater lights. And the quality of it, I mean, the thing feels like it's worth a, a thousand bucks or so. And my brother helped me set this up. I hung it and suspended it with cables here. It's not very heavy. It's a, I think it's like 40 something pounds. And then we pinned it to make sure it was completely level. We pinned it against the wall using double-sided tape and these yoga blocks. My wife's suggestion, actually. So in the future, I mean, pretty much uh, all I have left to do is to continue blacking out this room. My wife wants to do a second row with a riser. We'll probably have to remove the pool table. Um, I'd say this is version 4.0 for this uh, <laughs> this room. Um, oh, I want to add these rear channels. I just... Uh, just haven't gotten around to getting another amplifier. I might have, I'm gonna have to wait on that a little bit. But uh, yeah, those are rear bookshelves. So I'll have to figure out where I'm gonna put them. Maybe I'll suspend them from the ceiling, bring them down to, you know, about yay height, something like that. I don't know. But uh, again, this, this, this screen is just nuts. And I mean, this projector is just nuts. And the screen is nuts too, I can't believe it. Because everybody else, there's, I didn't quote, for different screens, some of them uh, were, they varied a lot. And some of them were almost like $3,000. And I'm like, that's almost as much as the projector. You're talking, you're getting like, you're getting up there. I'm like, I don't know. So, you know what, I'll try this. And I couldn't be happier, 300 bucks. And uh, I went with a gray screen because I wanted a room rejecting light. And I'm happy I did because the, the blacks are deeper with, with a gray screen anyways, even with the lights off. And, like, look at, you can have the lights on, hang out, you know, watch a game, and it's no problem. But uh, I could set this up. I got hue lights. I could have these lights turn off and have the room partially lit to have an even better image. But this, kind of just could not be happier with how this, this all turned out. I, I'll show you what I did up here, how I mounted this. This was actually, this was actually quite the project, too. And it's, it was, uh, use that garage door stuff. You suspend uh, like uh, garage door motors and stuff, and it's kind of like a, an adult erector set. <laughs> Bolted it all up in there. It's really secure. I got it supported. The back of it rests on uh, the I beam. This thing is solid. Not going anywhere. <laughs> and thank God for drop ceilings, because this project, I don't know if I would have been able to do it with on my own without a drop ceiling and fishing wires. And this was so much easier. I just had to move tiles and that was it. And I plan on blacking out the ceiling. Now this, I always thought this track was aluminum, but it's actually steel. And I'm gonna get some uh, corrugated plastic board. You can use that to like make posters and stuff. I'm gonna get sheets of it, wrap it in um, like a, uh, uh, black fabric I was gonna do velvet but velvet's expensive and I I found uh found this stuff it's be plenty dark and it'll look great so this was much cheaper so I think that's what I'm gonna do but yeah that's it for now just kind of uh shot this on a whim here so sorry for the disorganized <laughs> cadence of the video but like this thing this thing's a beast too and so this some of this is temporary i'm gonna wire another 20 amp outlet i haven't done that yet i just tied it in to where i plug my space heater in for now but um but yeah pretty happy it's uh family loves it too it was a big upgrade and i the image on this is, I had some neighbors come over. They were completely blown away by the sound and image. 
So we watched a little Top Gun. Unbelievable. So, all right, I'll wrap it up.